Now let's build a heated enclosure. I will say this again. Don't attempt this build if you don't know how AC voltage works and don't run the risk of exceeding temperatures that plastics can handle. Both AC voltage and melted plastic can be hazardous to your health. If you want to skip the video and go right to the results, you can click up here. But there are a couple different parts to this build, so we're going to take them one at a time. First up, wiring the temp sensor. I'm using a one-wire DS18B20 sensor mounted on a piece of breadboard to monitor the floor temperature of the enclosure. Put a 4.7K resistor between the VCC and data pins. Then cable the data pin to your Raspberry Pi GPIO 4 pin. Then cable the VCC connector to a 3.3 volt pin on the Pi. And the ground to a ground pin on the Pi. I'm using a plug that covers the 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9 pins to make it easy to connect to. We're only actually using the 1, 7, and 9 pins. Now let's wire the solid state relay, or SSR. This is a 20 amp AC relay that can be triggered by low DC voltage. The relay does say it can be triggered by 3 volts. Mine, however, required 5 volts to make it close. Try to connect your relay up to a GPIO pin first to see if it triggers properly. If it doesn't, you'll need 5 volts to make it work. Here I'm using a common 2N2222 NPN type transistor as a switch to take 5 volts from the Pi that can be switched by a 3 volt GPIO pin. Wire the base pin to a 100K resistor so not to damage it, then the resistor to a GPIO pin on the Pi. Here we're going to use GPIO 18. Now wire the right collector to the negative DC terminal on the SSR. The left emitter leg will go to a ground pin on the Pi. Connect the positive terminal on the SSR to a 5 volt pin on the Pi. I'm using a plug that covers the 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and 14 pins to make it easy to connect. But I'm only using three wires. 5 volt on 12, GPIO pin 18, and ground is 14. This is your temp sensor plug. This is your SSR plug. Now wire an outlet to a pigtail in the SSR. I'm just using a PC power cord that I cut the end off of. Wire the brown or black wire to one of the AC posts on the SSR. Wire the blue or white wire to the chrome screw on the outlet and the green and yellow or copper wire to the green ground screw on the outlet. Wire the other SSR AC post to the brass screw on the outlet. I'm using a PVC electrical box to house all this. The SSR can get very hot and could melt this box, so use caution. If you're going to use this rig for a long time, you may want to consider putting a heat sink on the back of the SSR. Now let's set up the software. I am assuming you're already using OctoPrint. Download and install the Enclosure plugin from the Plugins tab on the Settings page. No need to restart now, we're going to reboot in a second. Now log into your Pi via SSH. I'm using the PuTTY tool. The default username is Pi. The default password is Raspberry. Edit your boot config file. Enter sudo nano slash boot slash config dot txt. At the very bottom of the file, add dt overlay equals w1-gpio. This is to make sure the sensor becomes active on reboot. Control x to exit, y enter to save. Now reboot the Pi sudo reboot. When the Pi comes back up, go to settings, find the enclosure plugins tab, enable temperature reading, and select your DS18V20 sensor. It will default to pin 4. Enable temperature control, enter your GPIO pin for your temperature control. Make sure active low is not checked. We use active high. Check heater. Check auto startup so the heater only runs while the printer is printing. And set the temp where you want the heater to shut off. For me, it's 42C. Click Save. Now let's get the enclosure ready. 
I've created a dryer stand and a porthole that are available on the Thingiverse page in the description below. Use the porthole as a guide for cutting the hole in the vinyl. Make sure it's at the right height for the dryer. Use some packing tape on the vinyl before you make your cut to keep the plastic from tearing. I use some packing tape around the bottom of the enclosure to help keep the heat in. I zip tied a piece of foil faced house insulation on the opposite side of the dryer to deflect some of the dryer heat. I also set this whole contraption on a piece of it to insulate it from the table. I zip tied the heat sensor to the opposite corner of the enclosure to keep it away from the dryer. Now all you need to do is plug in your dryer, your pigtail, and start a print. The dryer will kick on when the sensor goes under temp and will shut off when the sensor goes over temp. I wouldn't recommend leaving this running very long by itself. You're going to need to monitor it. Make sure the dryer and the SSR aren't getting too hot. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or consider subscribing to my channel. If not, leave your thoughts below and thanks for watching.